Well, Gibbo, how hard was that session, mate? Looked like a fair bit of tough work at the end there, especially. Yeah, it's a good slog. It's always hard mentally, sort of the day after a main session to get up and and just when you're a bit sore, just compete. But we've been doing it really well. And again, today we were yeah really good at it. How much of a factor is the heat out there? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a big one. You sort of every time you have a break, you're sucking the water in. You can never quite get enough in, but that's why hydration in the morning is important. And yeah, we're all keeping on top of it. Can you explain the difference to us between the cold in Utah and then coming back in here to this heat over in Melbourne? Well, it's, it's just a bit of a shock to your body, but now we're used to it. We've been training it all week. Every, every day we're out here seems to be getting hotter and hotter, but yeah, again, it's just something we have to deal with. We dealt with it in final last year, so we've got to be prepared for anything. What's the main focus of the sessions early in the season? Is it getting the ball in hand or is it more the physical stuff? Today was more physical. It's sort of contested, um, getting used to hitting bodies. Um, but then our main sessions are starting to get more and more footy related where we're running sort of through match simulation and trying to do things at sort of game intensity. And what about you, mate? What's your goal for this season? What are you working on in particular? Obviously, your endurance has been great. Is there anything else you're working on to get through the season? Just really trying to get my body work better and be able to compete with a lot of the other guys just so that I can perhaps get through the middle at some stage and, and sort of have, I guess, a bit more, uh, a few more strings to my bow and be able to play a few more different positions. And mate, you're only 26, I believe, but um, you're, yeah. and you're already one of the oldest players in the team. How does that feel? Oh, it doesn't feel like that at all when you're sort of hanging around young, immature blokes all day. It sort of brings you down a bit, but no, it's really good. I, I still feel really enthusiastic and I don't see myself as any different to anyone else. So you don't sort of think of yourself as someone who needs to take on a little bit of a leadership role, even at your young age? No, not really. It's something that I guess you can't force. It'll develop if it develops. And yeah. I'm more focused on now is integrating myself with the team and trying to find my spot. And then those things will probably happen after that. And mate, can you believe the games are only a month away? No, no, it's, it'll be good though, because once the games start, all this stuff sort of stops.